Okay, this is going to be a really quick tutorial. I'm not very good at making videos, to be fair, and <laughs> this is my first one. I'll probably say uh, um, what quite a bit, but let's just see if we can get you through this. Let's just see if we can teach you a little bit on how to uh, stack the images in Photoshop to light paint the car. So here's my base image. This is around the back of Halfords and Paul. Uh, it's not the best locations, but knowing what I wanted to do with the image, um, it feels like it was it was quite a good location. I like the industrialness of this. Industrialness is that a word? It is now. So of this crate, this transport crate, shipping crate. So this is your base image. I shot it from from fairly high, not too low ish, not too high, but just a light up the side of the car. Enough enough height with a light just to give a the shadow underneath. So that's one image. The next image. That I'll put in was uh, this image here where I just quickly went around the back just to give this nice little highlight on the edge of the car so it comes on the roof uh, around this light it gives a, a nice a nice outline so I've just dragged the image in it's going to place it directly over the top of the other one so I just tick that to accept it and what you want to do on this layer is to change the layer mode over to lighten this will bring any other lighter pixels underneath this layer to show through so this was this was the original image this is the image with the lighter pixels from the other layers showing through now obviously we don't want this light or my trousers or any of this showing through so instead of uh, erasing it we're going to use a layer mask. So with this layer mask, I'm just going to pick my brush tool, make sure it's black. I'm going to pick a big enough brush. So wherever I paint black, it's going to hide the pixels of this layer. Wherever I paint white, it's going to show it. So if I just quickly paint black now, it's going to hide the little bits. I'm going to this this spill light down here. I'm going to get rid of that because I want this nice shadow underneath. So I'm not going to spend too much time making sure this is bang on. I just want to do it for speed really, just to show you quick. If I was doing this for, like I did on my original shot for a client, then a lot more time's taken, and obviously you will too. I'm just going to hide these highlights here. I mean, sometimes it looks really nice on here, I don't like it, so I'm just going to remove the highlight that was added on the bonnet, making sure I don't hit this little line on the on the edge of the actual bonnet itself. Apart from there, maybe. So, like I say, I'm just whacking through this really quick. It's more to show you really of the the layers, the adding them in, flicking it over to lighting mode, light and mode. It goes back in. Let's quickly put another image back in. So let's grab this one here. Should be the the front bumper. So that's lit. Change it over to light then. There it is. What else do we have? We can bring in as a side. Here's a bit higher on the side. This should bring in some nice highlights down the edge of this car. So just accept the image. Flick it to lighten. That's quite a lot of the image that I want out of a lot of the cars. It's quite nicely lit. So put in my layer mask, get my pen out, paint black over whatever I don't want showing. Okay. What else? We need this this wall behind lit up, so find the right image with that wall lit. There we go, accept the image, change it to lighten. Uh it's gonna add the layer mask in there's a little bit of light on the left on the right. So take that out. You'll notice as well that I've got um some shit in the background against the wall as a blue bottle or some can. Preferably take them out when you're there, but when you're there it is quite dark. Um you don't often see them. I think with hindsight I'll probably check. 
a little bit more of a better clean sweep around the area before I do it. But there's no point taking these out now because whatever I take out of here, you're going to show the layer underneath or the layer underneath. We're going to put another layer in, and the bottle's going to come back in, or the can's going to come back in. So there's no point in doing it until the end. Uh, so what have we got? We've now got the wall lit. It's quite easy because once you're you're just lighting the separate areas. Let's just light this crate up. There you go. Accept that. Change it to lighten. Uh, I've got some stuff I don't want, so I've lit the bottom of this, and it's it's, it's a different colour than the floor because I'm I've directly lit it. So I'm just gonna just quickly paint that out. It's also lit up here as well. There's some spill light from the light, but I'm not going to worry about that. Because <coughs> I'm just going to quickly uh, put in my own background. So what I need to do is take a sort of like a screen dump of the whole image. So it's, it's going to, all the layers that we've done so far, it's just going to collect them all into one layer so it's all built in. So it's, that's Control, Alt, Shift, and E. It'll give me a whole new layer. With all of these combined. What I'm going to do now is bring in uh, a better background. Yeah, that's far sexier than uh, the back of Halford's building, I think. So, just roughly position, I don't know where it's going to go yet. I'm going to take the layer of the car, put it above. Click a layer mask on, make sure it's highlighted. I'm gonna pick a bigger brush. So wherever I pick, wherever I paint black, is going to hide that that layer. Have you paint white? We'll show it. This is looking really bright actually. Um, <coughs> so I'm just gonna move that background up just to get the dark bit of the image just so it, seems to blend in a little bit more than what's going on. I'm not going to spend ages making sure this is bang on we're around here. I'm just going to really quickly just hide. So there we go. Not spend any time at all. Obviously, like I said before, for the proper shoot for this, the proper editing I did for this, um, I spent a lot more time doing this. But it's just this is just for to show you on a quick video, show you what you can do. I'm not even gonna bubble that. That's all pretty much blended in anyway with the background. Because I had a dark background anyway, and this bit is dark. So if it's green, there you go. That's um it does look pretty bad around here from where I'm looking. But a little bit more time spent choosing the right background that would look yeah pretty pretty pucker so um I can now go ahead and crop this where I want to crop it I'm just doing this quick the closer you are to the car especially with the way it's light it's lit it's uh, it comes out pretty nice so there you go I mean I haven't really spent much time on this at all and uh it doesn't look too bad so obviously when you uh, do your own or if I did this again like I did before uh, the more time taken the better it looks but that's not too bad for a really quick video so hope you enjoyed I hope it helps good luck with your own shoot